In this video, I'm going to give you a very important tip before you use your brand new gas range. Follow along with my step-by-step -step instructions. Save yourself a lot of headaches. Once you get your brand new gas range installed, if you plan on cooking with it that night, and for the first time you just turn it on 425, hit start, you're going to be in for a rude awakening. It's going to smoke, it's going to stink, you're probably going to have to open up the windows in your house and turn on your vent. If you do this, this will prevent a lot of that smoke and stench. When using your new gas oven for the first time, set it to bake and set it to 200 degrees. Once it gets to 200 degrees, you're going to leave it there for 15 minutes. After your oven has been warming at 200 degrees for 15 minutes, go ahead and raise the temperature to 250. And once it hits 250 degrees, leave it bake there for another 15 minutes. And you're going to continuously do this up to 350 degrees, letting it bake at every 50 degrees for 15 minutes. Well, this whole process will take you about an hour and 15 minutes or so, but it's going to save you a lot of trouble. If you just install a new gas range, turn your oven on 425, you're going to have a ton of smoke and stench in your kitchen. It needs to burn off that chemical smell of a new oven very gradually. The smoke will kind of, you'll smell it a little bit. The smoke will kind of come out here and there. But if you do it right away at like 425 and think you're going to bake something, your kitchen will be full of smoke and it will stink. And that stench of that kind of a new enamel stench that they come on, it's going to stay in your kitchen for a couple hours for sure. Hopefully you found this video helpful and informational, and I thank you for watching.